Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. At kung bago pa lang kayo sa channel ko, don't forget to subscribe! And for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make an EDB file. So if you want to learn more, just keep on watching. So first guys, let's just double click on the class in. Afterwards, just log in your details, password and the user number or name. And you will be redirected to a new window which looks like this. And as you can notice guys, there is like a countdown here of time. It means that by tomorrow, I have a booked class. So it automatically pops up here. All of the conversations of those who share the, the server or the other tutors will be popping up here. Now this is for the conversations. Now let's move on to the next section. Still the same. And this one, as you can notice, it looks like a calendar. And you will see there all of your bookings, all of the schedules. And since I'm a new tutor, I have a few bookings. But no worries because it's paid. Now guys, since for tomorrow, I have a class. Let me just click on the date for tomorrow. And we can notice here that there is the word prepare. So we have two options whether to go on the actual classroom, classroom setup or on this one, the Blackboard Editor, in which we can actually make an EDB file also. Let me just delete this because I was practicing on how to make an EDB file. Yeah, so this is the first option. You can make use of it's like when you are rehearsing for the lesson. This is. But since for uh, this one, Blackboard Editor is just plain black. It's not colorful. We'll go to the actual. Actual classroom setup is more colorful, so we'll just choose that. We we'll click on prepare. And afterwards, we're now here. This is the actual classroom. There is a the video. video. So, let's just upload all of those images that we need. Go to Cloud Disk. Go to My Cloud Disk. And let's choose here, for example. I choose this one. This is... As you can notice, there is a transparent background here, which means that this is a PNG. It's more creative. It's better to use PNG images in uploading or in using this as an EDB file. Because as you can notice, you can also see at the background the actual board. Now let me upload here another image. For example, this picture. As you can notice, there is a white background. And it doesn't... And as you can notice, it covers all of the images in the background now how do we make a png like this one with the transparent background of like this so let's go to chrome i'll teach you let's go uh, <laughs> just type in the url pixlr Fixter.com, just enter on the chat. This is a free 
website to use. And after they click on open, it's their editor because this is the free version. This one is for the free users only. Now, just click on open image from computer and choose that image that you want. The background be transparent. Just open that. And this is the image. So we'll make the background transparent. You can control zero. Okay, this will be You can adjust here if you want to zoom in or zoom out on the picture. So on the third. Two, we have the one tool. Just click on that. And what you need to do is click on the white color. And then under the layers, we have a lock icon here. Just double click on that. And when you delete on the keyboard, you'll see a Dell or delete button. Just click on that. It will become transparent. Is easy. There, once done, just control S or save. And don't forget that the format should be PNG for the transparent. Now that it's saved, let's just remove here. Now let's go back. Let's delete this. Go to cloud and upload. As you can notice, guys, the background is now transparent and it's much nicer to look at. Resize that. So, that is how you make the background transparent. Now, let me show you the, the EDB file that I made there so this one is already saved this so for this one i had one activity in which the student will be categorizing for example sugar where are you going to put it the chicken here okay. and for the evb file guys you can move it you can move it Really, and it will last me the time for preparation. Now, this is the best part. How do you save it? It's so simple. You're just going to close the classroom or this. You're going to use okay. You're going to exit the classroom. So go to close here. There will be a question. Do you want to save the EDB file? Of course, you, you're going to click yes. And guys, all of these images can be movable. Except only if you're going to be click it. Can't be grabbed. There, as simple as that. Just exit or just leave the classroom. Do you want to save? Yes. And also, you can save it locally or on your computer or on the cloud disk and also you can change the file name but don't delete this don't delete .edb let's try that confirm so that's it guys that's how you save an edb file you just just place all of the images that you need for an activity and leave the classroom or close it and there will be a question if you want to save the EDB file of course you want to save it so just click on yes and it will be saved and don't forget that you shouldn't erase or you shouldn't delete the dot .edb so that's it if you find this helpful don't forget to 
subscribe.